Hello and welcome to Grammar Down Under. Today I'm going to continue my discussion about phrases. I taught you in the first lesson about phrases that phrases are groups of words that don't contain a verb. There are three types of um, phrases, prepositional, adjectival and adverbial. And today I'm going to talk to you about prepositional phrases. Remember, they always start with the preposition. And just a reminder about what prepositions are, they generally show position. On, over, under, up are some examples. And I have three examples of prepositional phrases. In the first one, the cat sat on the mat. This is a simple sentence or a clause. It has a verb, sat. It has a subject, cat, the cat sat, and it has also a prepositional phrase, on the mat, beginning with the preposition on. It shows where the cat sat, the cat sat on the mat. The second one, the cow jumped over the moon. Again, a simple sentence. It has a verb, jumped. It has a subject, what jumped, the cow jumped. And it has additional information about the uh, action uh, that occurred. It occurred over the moon. So the cow jumped over the moon. The position of the jump was over the moon. Fish swim under the sea. It is a simple sentence with the verb swim. It has a subject, fish swim. And it has an, a prepositional phrase, under the sea, showing the position of that swimming. Where did it take place? Under the sea. The last one, the boat sailed up the river. This again is a simple sentence. It has a verb, sailed. It has a subject, the boat sailed. And it also has this additional information, up the river, showing uh, the position of that boat. It was going up the river. So it has, uses the preposition up. So let's revise them. There are four simple sentences here. Each one has a verb, each one of them has a subject, and each one of them has a prepositional phrase showing position. The cat is on the mat, the cow over the moon, the fish swimming under the sea, and the boat sailed up the river, showing position of the boat. So that's a very, very basic lesson on prepositional phrases. Uh, and you'll do some activities with your teacher on prepositional phrases. And after this, in our uh, lessons coming up, we'll be doing adjectival phrases and adverbial phrases. Remember, the key to understanding phrases is that they are a group of words that do not contain a verb. A clause is a group of words that does contain a verb. So we, need, we are now moving into understanding clauses and phrases. Thank you very much.